Hi, my name is Misha Simonyan, and uh, I'm the soloist for the Montague Youth Philharmonic Tour 2011, and uh, we're playing the Nielsen Concerto on this tour with Meister Jarvi, uh, and we're coming to you from Kaunas in Lithuania right now. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk to you uh, briefly about how important it is the, the stability of your lower and upper body, because when you play all these concertos, it's it's very important that you're first of all you're very stable and on, the, on your upper body, and you're very relaxed on your lower body. Because when you're when you're tense, it actually when you tense your knees in, in a way. And Master uh, Pinker Zuckerman told me that. Told me uh, when you tense your knees, uh, it actually makes the entire left arm very tense. And when you tense your upper body, including your neck. It makes your sound very tense. So altogether, it's not a good proposition. <laughs> so I'm going to show you, for example, a couple of um, couple of examples. Yeah. So the beginning of Nielsen picture. If you're tense, it will probably sound like that. And now the difference is when I'm completely free and stable. Especially uh, when it's uh, concerning your left arm. When you play really fast stuff, like let's say, for example, a uh, bar concert, the last one that goes like this. With your tense knees, your left arm, and especially third and fourth finger, get extremely, extremely tense, and you start playing faster than you even realize. But again, if you even actually just even kind of jump a little bit around and, and feel this freedom and feel the groove of, of rhythm, then it makes then it makes a pretty easy proposition like that. And so on and so on. The same goes in for the right hand. Now the right hand is very important because the more uh, bow you give into the sound, the more free your left arm is. Uh, it's the, the whole the whole body is very much connected with techniques, and also in, in fact, uh, if we, if you think about it, we spend time learning the same kind of passages over and over again because sometimes they they repeat. In, in, in all the concertos, but we already know them, but psychologically we're so tense by the fact that we're playing uh, a new passage that we, that we need to learn it again, you know? I mean, how many times do we have this, you know, for everywhere, practically, even though that was out of tune. But, um, yeah, so, practically the main idea is to be as free as possible, and it also uh, concerns the piano. When we play piano, there's two different pianos. One which is like that. I'll play you the beginning of the second moment of, um, uh, let's see, um, like that. Vibrato, you just need to let it kind of 
I mean, there's there's exercises. You know, you can turn on uh, a metronome and stay in. Oh, that stuff. But in my case, I just use it the way I feel it. Then I have you know this kind of rhythm. I have this. Thank you very much.